All right, YouTube, uh, not too familiar with making videos, but I ran into a problem and I uh, didn't see too many videos, so I figured I'd uh, make a video for anyone else that ran into this problem. Earlier this morning, I was driving down the road. They were repaving the road. There was a tar or tack stuff they put down to get the road ready. As you can see down here, I mean, you got loaded underneath the side all, all down there. The whole truck was actually covered. And using this process of using WD-40, uh, it actually turned out pretty well. As you see, you got it here, down there, all along there, everything like that. Um, front wheels weren't really touched, back wheels, uh, yeah, loaded. Um, so basically, I was reading some stuff online. They said that uh, WD-40 would uh, take it off without harming the paint or clear coat or leaving any scratches, anything like that. So what I've been doing is I already got one side of the truck done. As you can see, this is still not done. The doors, they're all right. I cleaned it off, front fender, stuff like that, wheel. Um, basically what you do is, I mean, to show you this stuff, don't come off. I mean, I got a power washer here and it, uh, it's not going nowhere. So it's definitely not mud. Um, Basically what I found, some uh, good old WD-40, um, won't hurt the paint, uh, wheels are powder coated, did not have a problem with the wheels, um, taking any of the finish off, anything like that. So basically what I've done is take some WD-40, you know, this is a plastic bumper along with the sides, the underskirts, everything, those are plastic, didn't have any problems with it. Um, taking any paint off or anything like that basically just put a nice stream you know nice and thick on everywhere you want to scrub off well let's do this section right now because it's real heavy so then you're going to want to take I got an old sponge from the house just something you're going to end up throwing away let it sit for a little bit you'll see it start to change lighter color and start almost dripping down I'm going to go ahead and take the sponge Nice simple wipe like that. I mean, you can see the stuff on the sponge there. And again, go on that side, maybe flip the sponge over, do it like that. And uh, the results I've had turned out pretty great actually. I mean, hit it with that, hit it with some water, get some of the streaks out, and then pretty much continue the process all over. Rinse, rinse your sponge out, get all the tar and stuff out of there. Um, like I said, the truck was pretty much completely covered as of this morning. And uh, it's still a work in progress, but we're getting there. So again, you know, we'll go to the front fender now. Bring the hose. And like right in here, it's pretty much caked down in there. I did the front bumper when I did the front of the truck. Got it there along the side. So let's do this section here. Spray it on there nice and good. Let's sit for a few. You know, we'll do a comparison. Get, try and get as much stuff out of the sponge as you can. Again, you see it start turning colors. And I've it doesn't really matter which side of the sponge you use. I guess if you got real thick stuff, you'd use that side versus this side. So basically put it on. Wipe it away and get it real good. Wipe it right off. Try and get rid of your streaks. And uh, so, then rinse it off again, get all the excess off. And I mean, there's difference there from WD 40 water to not. So, um, and then as far as the uh, powder coated wheels go I don't know if it would mess up the wheels but it seems like it doesn't this still has tar on it I don't know if you probably can't see it but the wheels are caked in it this side was done probably about half hour hour ago I mean completely clean still got the shine in the paint you can see is there anything there um, same thing with this wheel this wheel was also done with the WD-40 and uh, just got some watermarks on there. None of the powder coating came off, anything like that. So, 
I find this the easiest way to do it, probably the cheapest. I'm sure they sell bug and tar stuff like that, but I had some WD-40 laying around. And uh, yeah, I mean, seemed to work out for me. So if you guys got any questions or anything like that, just shoot me a comment or whatever you guys do on there. And uh, I'll try and put some pictures up of before and after because uh, the thing looked brown from the windows down when uh, when I got home earlier. So, all right, YouTube.